Okay, what's so up guys? This is a DIY and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, how do I say, cube or a photography box. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about those big white boxes that you see people sit on and um, photos. It's used for photography. So, excuse my background. I gotta do a little spring cleaning, but yes, um, this project was so exciting, and you guys know I'm cheap, so it was cheap. So, um, basically I'm going to show you guys how I painted the box, how I found the material, where I found the material at, um, so on and so forth, um, but yeah, uh, it took me like two days to make. Because, you know, you got to paint it. And, um, I actually ended up leaving the bottom of the cube open. Just because I made it so big. Um, it was kind of heavy. It's really, really sturdy material, um, that I used. So, I made it, um, where the bottom is open. So, you know, you can transport it much better instead of having to wear gloves and stuff to grip it. Um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, I was just inspired. Like, I just, as I get more into photography and, you know, perfecting my craft, I want to start adding pieces and, you know, just doing creative things. So, I just was looking online for, like, that white box and I'm like, where do they begin this box from? So, I did my research and stuff and, um... I actually found it on this one website and it was like 200 something dollars and I'm like 200 something dollars and then they had another website on there where you could like rent it but you know you gotta pay for that shipping and all that stuff and the other place wasn't close by so I'm like skip that I'm about to make it myself so stay tuned you guys and I'll show you how to make At my mom's house this is where I paint at like normally do arts and crafts or like DIYs and stuff that I have to paint so today we're making a prop box that I'm going to be using for a photo shoot so here is the wood I got from Home Depot and it is two by two and I got six pieces and then I just got some nails, some wood nails, and I was gonna use like regular paint, but I think I'm just gonna do spray paint and see how it turns out. That now, some of these pieces are um, smooth, like one side is smooth. Well, I think both sides are smooth, but um, some of them have like the tag still on it, which I don't feel like peeling it off, so I'm gonna use that for the inside of the box. So first I'm going to nail them together and then uh, paint it afterwards.
Okay, my other side of them, so that side is done. But what if it's not? It's not even. It'll work with it. They all come from the same spikes. They all should also square out. Okay, I'll just side like this. I just want to see what this is going to be. Let me try. You told me to stop both times. You got to hold it real tight while I hammer it. Only one screw. Take one screw out of it.
So we had to take a piece back to Home Depot because we didn't measure it right. We needed um, four two by twos and two two by three to fill in this little off. But right now I'm just gonna paint this part um, while it's here. That way when we get that to good, so we just paint those. the new cut pieces on the side. Okay, so now we are going to start painting. Um, this is just some old paint that I found in my basement. Um, you want that one? It's extra white. Satin. The yeah, satin. It looks kind of off white. Huh? We're going to see how it turns out. She ain't got no other white in there? Yeah. Tell us some extra white. I'm scared of them. Hold it. <laughs> okay, Wait, so. You got it? It's too heavy? Oh, okay. Can you lift it? Come on. Can you lift it? Or Just a little, it's gonna help with mine. Why would you put that on the floor? Why would you put I don't want to keep bending down to get that. Yeah, well, you're bending down right now. Yes, you but know, you're reaching over. This is your workstation, it's also your uh, project. You don't want to make your workstation your project. It's first rule. You don't know what I want to do. It's my job done fast. All right. I'm the only one working. You gotta watch. Um, uh, go dogs go. The part where they say you gotta listen to your partner. You don't be listening. You're not my partner because you're not helping me. I am your partner. No. You're not helping me because you won't let me help me. You know. You're telling me what to do. It's not helping me. It is. It's my project. It's my project too. It's not your project. Are you gonna use this? Yes. For what? I did all the work. Because you wouldn't listen to me. Listening to you when this is my project. It doesn't matter. It does matter. No. I want it how I want it. You want it messed up? Why would it be messed up? Because <laughs> I, right I want the paint 
bucket on top of the box? Yeah. So I have to keep bending down and reach over? Can see it. 
Okay, I have to go over this again. It's gonna be thin. I say it's get thinner. The only reason they keep doing that is because your brush keep going over the top over here. I know, but I have to do these sides. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Don't worry, I'm going to teach you. You'll be alright. Yeah, right. I'm going to be painting for a living. You don't? This is your purpose. Oh my god, man. I can't watch you do this. <laughs> what? Yeah, you keep going, you keep going the same thing. Now you can get it to that whole edge. I guess we don't have to be perfect. It ain't perfect because that lady don't know how to measure stuff. That's your fault. Bloody. You picked that lady. No, I didn't. I he came over there and, you, and he just left. Who left? The one that cut the other one yesterday. She told me why she left. She lost her marker. That's probably why she didn't cut it either. She probably had these little people don't know what they do. <laughs> he gave, some, gave us a janky cut. And this is how it looks. Let me come back tomorrow and do another coat. And it should be done after that. So this is how the box turns out. I actually just did a photo shoot, so I used it for um, the photo shoot. So and it's pretty big guys, like look at that. It's like literally taking up all of the space. It's used the rest of the stuff in the background, but it's pretty sturdy and yeah. I might make another one a little bit smaller, but my daughter, she can fit inside this box. So, I mean, and it's still plenty of room. So she actually colored in it. So <laughs> inside with crayons, so I mean. How it turns out. I'm excited. I'll show you guys the pictures. I know I'm looking at that day. And then I'm going to add another coat to it. But I love this blue. I have to blue that backdrop. You win.